Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video where we will be looking at how to make and place coins on building corners. On the facades of listed buildings, you can often see coins or so-called cornerstones. In the old days, the coins were used to protect the corners of the building, but they were also used for decorative purposes. When renovating a facade, it is important to keep, replace or restore them. These coins are also becoming increasingly common on modern buildings, and their role today is to highlight the corner. The combination of regular square or rectangular elements gives the building a decorative appearance. In the program, the coins are created using tiling styles. Let's see how it works. On this model I have pre-made a corner. I continue the work on the others. First, I create new tiling style. In the interior menu, I right-click on tiling, and choose property. I will modify the current style. I delete the rows, leaving only one row to work with. The tiling will contain two types of stones, one 600 by 300 mm, and one 300 by 300 mm. I will create two tiling patterns, one placed on the left corner of the wall and the other on the right corner. In the first row I create the 600 by 300 version. I set the row height to 3000 mm, which is the total height of the wall, and leave the elevation at zero. I select the correct material, which is Dura Marble 600 by 300. The width is 600 mm, height 300 mm, thickness 30 mm. Now we need to specify how many columns and rows should be placed. Since this tile is only placed on the corner, I will not use the whole area option, but specify only one column. The row value remains zero, meaning it will create as many rows as needed. The horizontal grout remains 2 mm and the vertical one should be set to 300 mm. So, the 600 mm wide coins will be 300 mm apart, giving space for the 300 mm wide ones. With the preview updated, we can see the offset between them. The reference point of the stone will be the bottom left point. I accept the settings with OK. I also set the color of the grout to white. For the placement options, I keep the left one. I enable overlapping, so that the elements of the second row, the 300 mm wide tiles, can be placed between them. I add the second row, in which I specify the 300 by 300 stone. The height value remains the same, the elevation should be 300 mm. I select the stone, which is Dura Marble 300 by 300. I do not change the other values. I accept the settings with OK. Let's save the tiling pattern as a new style called Cornerstone Left, and set it to be available in all projects. It is important to calculate the height of the stones when creating the pattern, so that only whole tiles are distributed on the wall. This way we can line them up without having to place cut tiles. In this example, the walls are 3000 mm, the stones are 300 mm high, so there are no cuts. Having made this left aligned style, we need to make the opposite. To do this, the reference point of the tiles must be moved to the bottom right point. When I am done with this, I select right in the placement options. This will align the tiles to the right. After redrawing, we can see the result. I save it as tiling style under the name of cornerstone right. In the next step, I will cover the corners with the new tiling styles. I choose axonometric view in the 3D window, so I can rotate the model more easily. In the tiling menu, there are two ways to use the tiling styles, placing or adding them. The difference between the two commands is that the placing tiling style always deletes the tiling already placed on the wall, and replaces it with a new one. With the adding tiling style command, I can place more than one tiling on a wall, 
in this example the left and right coins. So, I choose interior, tiling, adding tiling style. Now the last created cornerstone right style is the active one, so I'm going to tile the right corner of the wall first. I click on the wall and the cornerstones appear on the right. I select the walls to be tiled in order, and placing the stones in the right corner. Then, from the styles on the left, I select the cornerstone left style and place it on the left corner of the walls. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial video. I hope you found it useful and will be able to put it into practice. Have a nice day. Bye.